I went to film school at NYU, New York University, and then sort of broke in through film school. Started as a production assistant and worked my way up. I think what I tried to do was, even if it was just being a production assistant on a movie, I mean, I tried to find projects that were, were being directed by or produced by people whose filmographies I admired. And I felt like if I was on those sets and around those people, then that would lead to other jobs with those people whose, whose tastes I found inspiring and creative choices were inspiring. And that's sort of, I think that's kind of what I tried to do. You know, as a creative producer, you try to, you know, your job is to really try to give the director what they need and help them you know, support their vision and help them achieve their vision. And I've always really enjoyed being a creative producer and being a sort of sounding board for, you know, predominantly Steven Soderbergh, but I've worked on other movies as well with other directors and um, enjoy that. But it was really fun to step behind the camera again and, you know, just really focus on solely directing. Well, I directed a couple little movies, a couple of indie movies prior to this, but it had been a few years. I hadn't direct, directed two small movies, and I think it had been six years since, since I've directed. But I produced the first movie and really wanted to, you know, felt like I, I knew uh, Stephen had said he wasn't gonna direct the sequel. I felt like there was another story, as did Channing, and Stephen did as well, and Channing and Soderbergh really encouraged me to do it and I felt like I had a take on it and 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 I knew there was another story to tell and I wanted to be the one to help tell it. <laughs> <laughs>